Hi, Dark Proteus 66 here, and I'm going to be showing you today how to install Preware on your WebOS 2.x device. Um, devices that currently are running 2.x are the HP Beer, which is what I have right here with me today, um, a Palm Pre and Palm Pre Plus, if you've managed to um, get that on there yourself, and the uh, Palm Pre 3, which is expected to be out shortly, um, hopefully sooner rather than later this summer. As you can see, my device does not currently have Preware installed. I do have the Preware homebrew documentation that's available in the app catalog for WebOS, but as for Preware itself, I actually removed that so that way I can uh, show you this tutorial today. So um, let's get down to uh, brass tacks and uh, get this installed on this device. So for this video today, I'm going to be using um, first off the WebOS internals wiki. Um, I will have a link to the wiki inside the video information, but on this website you can find all sorts of different information for all cool homebrew things, as well as donate to WebOS internals. Uh, they're a great group of guys. You should definitely look into it. They make the WebOS community what it is today. So um, we're just going to follow through the, on the instructions. Um, first video I'm doing is going to be using WebOS Quick Install. Latest version of WebOS Quick Install is version 4.1.1. .1. The instructions in this video should stay the same even with future updates, but if anything does change, I will include a link to an update just to make sure that uh, we can keep you up to speed. So just going straight through and follow the, following the instructions, we uh, want to check, make sure that we have the latest version of Java installed and up to date on our machines. I already have this updated on my system, so did that before the video. Next thing we're going to want to do is follow through the link right here and download WebOS Quick Install version 4.1.1, which like I said earlier is the latest version. As you can see right here, I already have this downloaded. So um, after you get that set up on your system, what you're going to want to do is um, put your phone actually into developer mode, which I'm going to show you how to do that now. So before we go any further, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to enable developer mode on our devices. Um, there's two different ways that you can uh, go about enabling developer mode. The first one um, is by typing in WebOS 2009-0606. You type that in and you'll see the little developer mode enabler right there. The second way, and my personal favorite, is um, a little bit of an Easter egg which is um, stuck around since the original pre, but you can use the uh, Konami code up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start, and that'll bring up the developer mode enabler. Just click that right there. You'll see this launch up, and all you have to do is tap the button, and boom, there it is. Your device is in developer mode and ready to um, get either preware installed, third-party um, applications installed, or if you're even feeling like it, make your own app and push it over to your device. So now that we have our devices in developer mode, we want to go and plug them in using the USB cable into our system. Great thing about the newest version of WebOS Quick Install is that you no longer need the SDK or the WebOS doctor for your device to run it. Um, previous versions did require that. That's no longer needed. If you're at a tutorial that tells you that you still need to go download that, don't bother. Um, most you'll need is, as you can see right here, is the Novacom driver, which is a really small install. So let's go ahead, get this launched up. And what we're going to see right here is this is WebOS Quick Install. We want to click on this button right over here, and this will bring up the installer for us. It takes just a moment to load, and this is going to show us um, and allow us to not only be able to install Preware, but also a couple other homebrew apps, as you can see, as well as um, plugins, Linux applications, themes, and a whole lot of other things. But right now, we're just focusing on Preware. So what we're going to want to do is type Preware right in here bring up this, have a short little description on it, and just click the install button. Once you do that, it's going to connect to your phone and install it onto your device automatically. And that's it. And with that, we launch our launchers on our devices and we should see Preware as an option. Just go ahead, click it, and let's launch it up. And boom, there you are, here in Preware. I had this preloaded, it doesn't load up quite this fast, it does have to pull everything from all your feeds, but it's as simple as that to get preware on your uh, WebOS 2.x device. Okay, thank you for uh, joining in today, and uh, make sure you check out the information in the feed. Um, I'm just going to have links to everything that I use today. Also, go ahead and um, check out WebOS internals, and um, if you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up or uh, subscribe. Have a great day.